This is Fred Beck from Fred Toys Fighting. Today I'm very lucky to join by Caleb Turex and his dog, Tito Trinidad. How are you, Caleb? Doing good, man. Good, uh, good to be back with you. So tell you what I did the other day, Caleb. I know you like fishing yourself. I went fishing with my uncle using net because he doesn't like using rods. My uncle Paul. And we were fishing about four or five hours and we didn't catch a single fish. It's how you <laughs> <still. laughs> It happens sometimes, man. That's called getting skunked. <laughs> Well, you say sometimes, but I've been with him about three times now, and only once we caught one fish. The other two, we caught zero. But you do you fish a lot, don't you? Yeah, I just uh, I fish in uh, part of a bass tournament. I just went fishing last night at a local lake here in uh, outside of Minneapolis. So I, I hate to say it, but maybe your uncle is uh, taking you to the wrong spots, or he doesn't know what the heck he's doing. <laughs> I have a word of him. Yeah. So do you normally fish with a rod or net? Uh, we can't fish with nets here. Um, we can only fish with rods and, and uh, in the summer with rods. Uh, you can catch like small fish with nets, like sunfish and, and panfish, but uh, you can't keep them. Oh, okay. I'll just be a bit annoying, catch you on and then come back after. So, yeah. So, how are things with you, though, Caleb? How are things in the gym? Uh, everything's going well, man. I'm, uh, I'm headed to uh, a different gym today to do some sparring with a local guy. Uh, actually, he's from Iowa, and he just moved to Minnesota. His name's Tony Woods, a uh, real good prospect. He's like, uh, I believe, seven and zero or eight and zero, uh, super middleweight, middleweight, and uh, a good fighter. He's helped me spar probably three or four times, getting ready for fights. And now that he's moved here to uh, Minneapolis, we're able to get some work in a little bit more often. Oh, okay, I'll have a look out for him on YouTube and on the TV. And do you have any possible fight dates coming up on the horizon at all? Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get word on it here pretty soon. That the IBF just ordered a purse bid between myself and Evgeny Shevenko for uh, the IBF mandatory um, position, and hoping to get some clarity on that. I think the the deadline is like August 17th uh, for for the the two sides to to reach a deal, and yeah, hoping to get some clarity and uh, get a date on the calendar so I can uh, focus on it. Oh, hell yeah, that's awesome. I didn't, I didn't know that. That's interesting. They can get in line of another title shot. And what I like about the IBF is, unlike other sanctioning bodies, bodies sorry, they always like, they always make sure your guy's first. So if you're number one in the IBF, they're going to make sure you get that title shot as soon as possible, unlike the WBC or maybe WBA, who kind of give it a bit more time. Um, yeah, they seem, to, uh, they seem to follow their their own rules a little bit more so than, uh, than some of the other ones out there, so. I respect them. That's the that's the organization that I went about with um, in in 2017 against James DeGale. So uh, they uh, I got some love for the IBF. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned James DeGale there. I now box out his amateur gym, Howard Day Hooks, with the same with his coach uh, Steve. That's so. awesome. Is, is, is he still in the gym or is he uh, is he around still? I know he's retired, but is he still in the gym? Yeah, he does pop in the gym a bit, but both times I've, I've been out of the gym, missed a couple of sessions occasionally, and both all the sessions I miss, he always comes in the gym. So yeah, that's always a bit annoying. Um, yeah, so as well as the boxing, you always mentioned your former opponent there, Caleb Plan, who's now the he's still RBF champ. He was linked in a fight between him and Canelo, but that fell through. Why do you think it fell through? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm I'm not gonna speculate on to what happened. From from what I read, uh, Canelo had some demands that uh, Premier Boxing wasn't willing to meet. And uh, unfortunately for Caleb Plant, he, he's going to miss out on a big payday. Hopefully they can get the fight back together and, and make it for uh, Canelo and, and his next fight because uh, that's, a, that's a huge payday for him that he's missing out on. And uh, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to speculate to whose fault it is or whatever, but I understand from both, from both sides, from what I've read, you know, Canelo wanted uh certain stipulations and and he's the man so he gets to make those stipulations and, and pbc didn't want to follow through because that put, puts them at risk at financial risk for losing a bunch of money if plant were to get sick or, or uh, get injured so i understand from both ways and hopefully they can get it together uh, in the future yeah hopefully i think that's a fight that i want to see to can unify super middleweight um how if that fight would have happened what do you think would have happened in the fight and do you see anything in Caleb that he does better than Canelo? Um, he's got real good footwork and he's he's uh, got a good jab. He's bigger than Canelo as far as uh, height goes and, and length. Um, I don't think he can beat Canelo. I think Canelo is the best in the game, if not the best of the game, one of the best two or three guys in the game. Um, I don't think Flan has enough power to keep Canelo off of him. 
I think it's a good fight. It's a, his jab and his movement and his speed make, make it an interesting master matchup. But I think in the end, Canelo gets to him and, and wears him down. And uh, I think that's everyone's kind of thoughts on the fight. I mean, when he fought Billy Joe Saunders, I, didn't, I wasn't sure, really sure because Billy was always got that kind of awkward southpaw. As you say there, he's got that movement. I didn't expect Canelo to stop him. I thought, oh, Canelo could win an decision. Billy could win an decision. I didn't. I didn't, wasn't really sure he was going to win that one. But I, think I was really surprised that Canelo stopped him. That was a great performance by him there. And he knows now how to kind of stop the movers. Um, yeah, so one thing you're also involved in is eSports Boxing Club. How did you get into that? Uh, <laughs> you know, they, they asked me to be in it and, and I've always, uh, loved, uh, boxing video games. I don't play video games anymore, but I'm gonna have to buy myself a, uh, uh, PlayStation or Xbox to, to, uh, get back into gaming because uh, if I'm in a game, I gotta, I gotta support it. But, uh, when I was younger, I, I loved playing, uh, fight night and knockout Kings and, and, uh, my man, uh, Todd Grisham asked if I wanted to be in the game. And I said, hell yeah, man, that, uh, that's like a lifelong dream, man. So. I'm uh, I'm excited to uh, to play as myself and go against uh, some of the some of the greats of the past and and uh, probably get my ass whooped by some of them, but uh, it's all good. <laughs> so, what was it like, kind of getting scanned into the game and those cameras around you? Uh, I haven't done that. I haven't, haven't done that yet. No, no, I haven't done that yet. They said they might do it, um, or else or else they might just create like a. Uh, for some of the guys, they'll just create a. Um, uh, a likeness of them you know because they can't scan in everybody because there's so many guys in the game so um, if they if they offer to scan me in I'd love to to, to do it but if not uh, I'm, I'm fine with them just uh, uh, creating a likeness of me yeah that's awesome and you know when you kind of do a deal I know it's not some of my business but do you kind of agree in your rating in the game because maybe some boxes they might give a lower rating and that might annoy some boxes do you agree with your rating in the game when you sign that deal to be in the game. Uh, I'm not even sure what my rating is, man. I haven't, uh, <laughs> they, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I, I didn't know those were out yet, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, you have to tell me where I can find it so I can check it out and and uh, and look, check it out. Yeah, I don't think that out. Yeah, they'll probably count when the game's out. And just one more question: do, Would you do you get a free copy of the game when you're signed into it? I hope so, man. I hope so. <laughs> but like I said, I got. I don't even have any video game systems. I got. I got to pick up an Xbox or a PlayStation to in order to play it. So uh, hopefully that, that'd be cool, man. I, I'd, uh, I'd definitely take a free video game <laughs> as part of the deal. Yeah, that's awesome. Just check with your mates out first, PlayStation or Xbox, and then get the same as them. That's always the best thing to do. All right, what do you okay. play? What do you, what do you play? What are you going to play that? I'll play on Xbox. I'm getting on Xbox so I can take you on, man. I'll, yeah, I'll, awesome. uh, Next, when it comes out, I think it's meant to come out. I was talking to Todd Grisham about it, and he said it's meant to come out at the end of the year, as long as it all goes to plan, yeah. So we'll catch up again then. Sounds good, man. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time today. And where can people find you on social media at? Uh, at Golden Caleb T on, on uh, Instagram and Twitter. I love interacting with my fans. So look me up and uh, let's talk boxing, let's talk fishing or anything else. Awesome. And your merch, that's still out, isn't it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. It's uh, on my website, uh, calebtruax.com. You can find links to to uh, my merch shop that's provided by 500 level. I got the best merch in, uh, in boxing, man. So got to check it out. Awesome. I'll put the link for your merchandise in the description. All right, Caleb, thanks so much for your time again. Thanks, man.